Fabio Capello has actually said that um, England have got a really good chance at this World Cup because it's a winter World Cup. He thinks that. Um, he says he didn't get that opportunity when he was in charge. Um, do you agree with him, though? Do you think it'll suit um, the English players, the fact that, that the intensity of the Premier League season, you know, we're not at the end of a long season, it'll be a couple of months in? Yeah, no, I generally do. Um, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to put too much pressure on on the team. Um, but I generally do. You know, we have world class players. You know, all over the pitch, playing for big clubs. Um, you know, we have a, a great captain and a, and a and a great striker. Um, so yeah, you know, I think we've got a brilliant chance. I think it it possibly could help. You know that the that the tournaments um, during the season. Um, and yeah, it's just something, you know, that we need to look forward to, take uh, each game as it comes. And, um, you know, it'd be obviously an unbelievable feeling to even even play in a World Cup um, uh, for myself personally. Um, but yeah, as a team, you know, I do think we have a good chance. Um, Kevin De Bruyne has, has been speaking about you and he says that you he thinks you're unfairly targeted, as a lot of English players are. Um, he says because he thinks of this English mentality of criticising their own so that if if Italian players, for example, went out or, or for a night out, they wouldn't be treated in the same way as when English players are, are, are spotted out on a, a night out. Do you think he's right? I'll ask you, do you? Yeah. <laughs> I think he is right. Um, I don't know. I want to be friends with you all. Um, <laughs> uh, no, I can obviously see where he's coming from a little bit. Um, but, you know, when... I think that's just the way you know it is in this country, um, you know, and especially if you myself uh, playing, you know, for one of the biggest clubs uh, in the world who are who are winning trophies, you know, every single year. And obviously, you know, when I have a prize tag on my head that I that I have, you know, people are gonna are gonna want to talk. So it's just something you know that I need to, you know, I keep going back to it, saying embracing it, and just it's just part and parcel, really. Um, but yeah, I do see where he's coming from a little bit. Following on from that, I mean, the manager got quite a lot of stick from the fans after that game at full time at Molyneux. Could, could you sort of believe that, given the progress that the team's made in the last five or six years under him? I think it was harsh. Um, you know, like like I says, I think the obviously the the final um, last year, and then, and then the hungry game at the start of the last camp. I think before that, the last time we'd lost a game was in over 90 minutes was, I don't know, I think maybe was it Belgium in November 2020 or something? Uh, yeah. Why? Yeah. Um, so, you know, I think it was very harsh, you know, and especially the the World Cup and, and the Euros of, of how well the team done um, and, the, and the manager himself. I thought it was obviously harsh, but yeah, I think, you know, like what Rob said at the start, I think that's what sometimes you, you get, you know, if you're English and I've certainly... Had my pleasure. 